draw a line. And we are going to get to actually draw coloring our Tarshir. And this is going to be a lot of fun, okay? So, in order to color our Tarshir, I am actually going to use pencil crayons, okay? Again, you could use whatever you want, okay? You could use markers, you could use uh, regular crayons, or if all you have is a pencil, that's fine. We could just shade our Tarshir with your pencil, okay? If you don't have any colors, we could do that, okay? So this is what I'm going to do. A Tarshir, for the most part, is pretty much brown. So I'm gonna use the brown pencil crayon to start off, okay? So, sweetie, how do you say brown? Again. Uh, I think it's brown. Oh, okay, it was still brown, huh? Okay, that's I good. Think so. Okay, so one thing to understand whenever we are coloring something, okay, is understand where the light is coming from in our scene. Where and in this particular scene, where do you think light comes from in our scene? From where? From where that's right, from where everyone? The sun, that's right. How do you say sun in Tagalog? Arau. Arau? Yes, arau. Okay, the yeah, arrow, the sun, okay? So usually the sun is coming from the top here, so we're gonna keep that in mind, okay? So think about that. But first, we're gonna take our brown, and we're just gonna lightly fill in our Tarshir, but we are not going to color a couple things. The eyes, as well as this mouth area here. We won't color that in, but everything else we will shade in with brown. Now, if you just have a pencil, just lightly shade it in. Don't press hard. Press very lightly. But let's go ahead and shade in our Tarshir. But it's very important that you don't press very hard with this, with this, uh, with your pencil. Okay? We're gonna do the same thing with the body. Let's go ahead and fill that in, like so. Okay? So if you have a marker, this will probably go a lot faster. We have a pencil crayon, that's okay. We can take our time and have some fun, okay? There you go. Let's go ahead and color in the tail. Great job, everyone, great job, okay? Okay, now, okay, we'll get back to the brown part in a second, okay? While you're still coloring, let's get to the eyes. Now, Tarshiers have very interesting eyes. In fact, Tarshir's eyes are actually kind of greenish. They're very green. Okay? So we are going to give our Tarshir green eyes. Okay? So I'm going to use an apple green. Again, you could just use your pencil. Again, just shade it in very lightly. Okay? How do you say green in Tagalog, sweetie? Verde. Verde. Yeah. Verde. We're going to make verde him. Okay? So I'm going to just lightly color in the eye. And the other side as well. Very nice. Good. But don't color in this little highlight here. That should stay white, okay? Now, this mouth area here, I want that to be a little different from the fur that he has here. So I'm actually going to use yellow. Yellow is my favorite color, actually. Yellow. How do you say yellow in Tagalog, sweetie? Dilao. Um, Dilao? Yeah. Yes. Bilau? Bilau. Bilau. Bilau? With a D. Okay. Bilau. Yes. All right. Was it Bilau? Bilau. No, Dilau with a D. Okay. So let's fill this in with a Dilau. Just like that. Very nice. And also fill in the nose here, too. I'm going to actually bring the brown back and fill in the nose. Okay. Okay, so so far, we filled in. Our Tarshir, okay, oh, don't forget the toes. Okay, if you wanted to stop here, that's totally fine, you could stop there. But I'm gonna add just a little bit more color, okay? Remembering that the light is coming down on our Tarshir, what I'm going to do is add a darker color of a brown underneath where I think the shadow is going to go. So this is what I'm going to do. With my darker brown, I'm gonna draw a line that goes from here all the way to maybe like that. From here under, up like this. And now I'm going to fill this in with a darker brown. So this is where if you have a pencil, you could actually shade that in like that too. That darker brown. Okay. 
maybe even a little bit under the, the lip like that, okay? In the ear here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the line right down the middle here. And then draw a little circle inside here and fill that in. Let's do the same on the other side. Oh, You're thank really you, good sweetie. At this. Thank you. Cute. You yes. can do this for a living. Huh? I try. So let's fill that in there. Now, also, we would have shadow under the arm, right? So watch very carefully. I'm gonna draw a line that goes from here. That goes all the way around here to there, and I'm gonna fill that in. See that? And now shadow will also be under this arm. So I'm gonna draw a line that goes underneath here, like this, and also fill that in. Okay? See, we're getting there, it's almost done. So from here, we're gonna draw a little shadow underneath this leg here. So I'm gonna draw a line that goes from this knee all the way down. Maybe I'll even bring it up here, a little bit above the tail. I'm gonna fill that in too. Okay, don't worry about the tail yet. We'll do something special for that. Fill that in like so. And now from here, this tail, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line that goes down like this and fill that in. And then now I'm just gonna shade right underneath this tail, just underneath, just a little bit. Not the whole thing, just a little bit. And up here like this. Wow, he's so happy. Yes, it's a happy tarsh here because it's full of color. Yes. Okay. So our tarsh here oh. itself, it's pretty much colored. Now why don't we go ahead and fill in the rest of the drawing very fast. Well, for the most part, what color is the bark here of the tree? What color would that be, everyone? Brown. Brown, so grab your brown. Again, let's fill that in. Let's go ahead and fill this in brown. Okay, so all these are brown. Look at that. I could I could hear the pencils moving there, sweetie. I could I could hear it. Yeah, we're coloring in all of our happy trees. That's right, they're happy trees. This one too. Don't forget this one over here. Oh, I like that sound, sweetie. Very nice. Okay. So take your time with this, okay? We have lots of time to complete it throughout the day. But why don't we go ahead, okay? When you are done that, why don't we go ahead and color in these leaves? So what color are leaves, everyone? Green, so why don't we grab a green? Okay, I'm gonna grab a lighter green, like this. Okay, I'm gonna grab a lighter green. And let's go ahead and fill in some of these leaves here. Okay, so if you just have a pencil, you could fill this in, but do it a little bit lighter than your, your, uh, your tree branch here, the bark here, okay? And let's just go ahead, all the way around, fill that in. You know, sweetie, my mom said when I was younger, uh -huh. my mom told me that if I were to color a lot, I would get some muscles. Did you? What does it look like? Yeah, you're super strong. Thanks. Ungaling. Ungaling. <laughs> That's all the coloring. Okay, so let's go around. There's a lot of leaves here. So I'm just gonna go quickly around here. Now if you want to, if it's taking too much time, you could just even stay just where the leaves are and just color around. Color around here like so. Now also know that you're not tied to the colors that I tell you to use. You could use any color you want, really. If you want red leaves, go for it. If you want pink leaves, go for it. That's totally up to you, okay? But for us, for me, I'm just gonna use green for now, just for fun, okay? 
You know what I'm going to do right now? You see this part here, sweetie? Yeah. Okay, this is a bunch of trees that are like farther away. Okay. You know what? I'm also going to take my Sharpie. You don't have to do this. I'm just going to do this here. I'm going to actually add a few more trees on this side. Okay, this I'll thing. just watch you. Just watch me, sweetie. Okay. There you go. And now, I'm going to draw all silk color in these trees. But watch how I do it, okay? Okay. I'm not going to fill in this whole thing. I'm just going to stop right around here, okay? So watch very carefully. Same with our green. I'm just going to stop here. And shade that in. Same over here on this side. But I'm going to leave this bottom part here white, okay? Okay. And now let's go to these hills over here. What are these hills called again, called again sweetie? Chocolate Hills. That's right, Chocolate Hills. How do you say that in Tagalog? Chocolate. Chocolate Hills. <laughs> Sarap. Okay, so let's go ahead and color these hills. Now I'm going to do this. We're going to actually mix some colors here to do that because sometimes these chocolate hills, they could be a little brownish. Okay. okay so I'm just going to color a little bit of brown here, very lightly. But I'm not going to fill in the whole thing. Again, just the, just the top part. Okay. Just the top part there, sweetie. Just the top part. The top part. But leaving the, the bottom here white, okay? Okay. So we're just sticking to the top parts of these mountains here. It's dark. Okay. There we go. All the way around. And I'm going to take my green, okay? I'm just going to add a little bit of green to this, too. Right over top to where the, the brown that I use. Just add a little bit of green. Just a little. But in all honesty, this is your picture. You could add as much or as little as you like. Okay, we're almost there. Why don't we go ahead and draw in the sky, or color in the sky. What color is the sky usually, everyone? Blue. That's right. So I'm going to use a blue sky here. I'm going to go ahead here and lightly draw. Not too hard. We want this to be very subtle, okay? Very light. Very light. Just a little bit of a blue sky. Like that. Okay, so I know I go pretty fast. So all of you could also, you know, if you're not done, you could take your time with this later and fill, fill in, add as much color as you would like. But before we end off our drawing, as artists, we do one thing before we end off our drawing, okay? And this is what I want you to do. Because you drew this all by yourself, you drew this all by yourself, you should be pretty proud that you drew that drawing that you have, okay? Be pretty proud that you drew that drawing. Because of that, what I want you to do at the bottom is sign your name. Sign your name, let everyone know that you were the one that did that drawing. That's why I left this blank. You could either sign your name here, or sign your name here. I'm gonna sign my name right here. You could even put today's date if you want. I'm gonna put today's year, 2017. Okay? And once you're done, Signing your name, you are finished your drawing, so please give yourselves a hand. Yay, great job. Great job, everyone. Great job, Yay. everyone. That's fantastic.